commonly said money is the root of all evil. This might be true, but if this were true, think of being tasked to collect revenue on behalf of all citizens. This is a daily routine of Zambia Revenue Authority ZRA officers. In order to collect revenue, offering professional services to taxpayers for a mutual relationship is vital. Ordinarily, this requires officers with high levels of integrity and ethical conduct. It is for this reason that the ZRA has designated the month of September as the annual integrity month. The specific objectives of the integrity month for ZRA this month are one, to emphasize the importance of integrity and ethical behavior to all staff and stakeholders and the business community in general, to enhance ethical compliance and decision making among staff in our day to day duties and to remind each other to leave the ZRA core values. Lastly, but certainly not the least, to remind ourselves to be consistent with efficient service to the public, which is fair and transparent, transparent, as well as to remind taxpayers of their obligations of paying taxes and not bribes. We're talking integrity as a direct because uh, lack of it uh, in the nature of work we do is very detrimental. If we do not have uh, integrity in the ZRA, it means that uh, the public will not have confidence in that um, where we collect the monies and uh, that will account for all the monies collected. Uh, integrity is also important because um, the nature of the business we do is uh, that uh, there is a lot of potential, a lot of potential for uh, malpractice in terms of bribes and other such vices. So integrity becomes very important that uh, ourselves and the systems we use uh, must be trusted for the public to voluntarily comply in terms of meeting their civic responsibilities or paying taxes. So without integrity, uh, it basically compromises tax administration. The authority conducted different activities to keep sensitizing employees and external stakeholders on ethical conduct as they do business with the authority. Integrity uh, month, the whole month of September each year, this is now for the second year learning, uh, Zambia Revenue Authority has dedicated the month of September as a, a month in which we uh, celebrate and we uphold the, the, uh, the value of integrity in, in Zambia Revenue Authority. As management, we strongly believe that the value of integrity is very key, uh, not only to, uh, to our staff, but to the public as well. Because we do believe that uh, uh, with integrity, we do believe that uh, uh, the public confidence uh, in our institution is very important and, uh, and that's why we have a fully dedicated resource in ZRA apart from, the, uh, apart from the, 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 uh, the awareness campaign that we do and everything, we have a fully dedicated uh, resource in the ethics manager. Um, so the month, for the month of September, we fully dedicate it to, to to show the, not only the, the staff internally, but the public as well, that the Zambia Revenue Authority places integrity as the agenda number one in our operations. Issues of integrity are not only a big concern to the authority, to government as a major stakeholder. The Revenue Authority has been quick to respond to any concerns of integrity, knowing fully well that public trust is critical in its operations. Uh, the Integrity Committee in ZRA was established in 2006 and uh, that was in line with the national anti-corruption policy. Uh, and the idea of forming these Integrity Committees was to institutionalize uh, the fight against corruption in the various institutions like ourselves. And uh, so the main aim was to ensure that uh, the people that are inside actually take responsibility for ensuring that they assess the, the, the business processes and the environment and ensure that all those corrupt, corruption vulnerabilities uh, are dealt with by developing systems and procedures 
and ensuring that uh, they are monitoring uh, processes that ensure that uh, corruption is minimized uh, in the institution. Today, Zambia Revenue Authority is a role model to other institutions. I wish to commend the ZRA employees for the hard work and the commitment exhibited every day to collect revenue on behalf of the Zambians that have entrusted them with this responsibility. During the address to Parliament in 2016, His Excellency the President raised a concern of integrity within the TRA. But I can proudly inform you today that I have received reports of how the institution has managed to address this issue and it is now a model for many institutions. I think we need to clap for ZRA. ZRA has not only continued to be a shining example to other institutions, but organizations such as Transparency International Zambia have been closely monitoring ZRA's performance in order to replicate the success story with other institutions, both in the public and the private sector. So what we've been doing is we've been working with different institutions. Mostly we'll target the five top-ranked institutions in the index. And we try to work with them to try and uh, help them in terms of uh, strengthening their integrity systems developing integrity tools uh, if they don't have or just trying to strengthen some of these tools and basically look at other ways and means to um, uh, uh, to reduce uh, the corruption situation in these uh, in these institutions um, we we have worked with ZRA on, on a number of occasions I think uh, you, you you must be aware of that uh, you know time that you were developing your code of ethics and a lot of other things. I think we've participated in a number of uh, trainings that you've been giving to your officers uh, on, on integrity. We've been invited to give lectures and those are the kind of partnerships that we're looking, we looking for with, uh, with other institutions as well. Um, you find that for us ZRA is a leading example uh, among public institutions in terms of the seriousness with which they take uh, integrity issues. Uh, and what we want to do is to collaborate with SEDRA and work with other institutions so that they could emulate some of the uh, examples, that they could emulate some of the interventions that you've put in place so that they too can get to where SEDRA is going. The Zambia Revenue Authority Integrity Committee um, has been doing a number of things. Uh, we follow a framework uh, called the PEE framework in terms of addressing integrity uh, issues in the institution. The first one being that uh, we emphasize on uh, prevention uh, of these uh, uh, opportunities for malpractice. Uh, in that, uh, we undertake uh, education and awareness programs both for our internal staff as well as the general public. And uh, what we do is that for every officer joining Zambia Revenue Authority, we pass them through a, an induction process where we educate them about uh, issues of integrity. Uh, we also have, um, for the, our stakeholders, we have various workshops and seminars where we discuss matters of uh, integrity uh, because, you know, it takes two to tango. So the people that uh, uh, we deal with the public, the taxpayers, we basically run them through uh, on ensuring that they observe issues of integrity as they interact with our officers. Uh, when we started conducting the Zambia Bride Pairs Index uh, some years back, and as far back as uh, maybe six years ago, ZRA was, you know, sort of uh, uh, among the top institutions, but Looking at where we are now, there's been some tremendous improvements. And we want to show the other public institutions that this is possible. This is not a far-fetched aspiration. This is achievable. 
you look at the statistics because we have them here comparatively. You look at the performance in 2009, 2012, 2014, and now 2017. The results are there to speak for themselves. Uh, so what we wanted to learn from you is what is it that you have done? The, the education, which is um, focused on ensuring that people understand the negative impact of uh, corruption or receiving bribes. Uh, they erode the public confidence in revenue administration and they also ensure that uh, they, they cause voluntary compliance to go down. Uh, people feel that uh, because others are being favored, uh, then they don't see the need to contribute. So integrity becomes very cardinal. And once people become aware uh, that they need to conduct their business, I expect the business to do with payment of taxes in an honest and sincere manner. That helps uh, uh, voluntary compliance. Uh, the last bit is enforcement. When we discover that uh, our officers are not uh, conducting themselves in a manner that uh, has been uh, uh, lay down. We basically uh, take measures. We currently have the Internal Affairs Department that inquires or makes investigations into alleged malpractice by any ZRA officer. And once uh, those investigations are done and the uh, uh, evidence is gathered that indeed our officers were involved in uh, malpractice, they are now subjected to the disciplinary measures. If there's criminality in the, those uh, 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 their behavior, then those cases are referred to uh, the respective law enforcement agencies, including anti-corruption, uh, DEC, and the, uh, the police, depending on the case. So uh, we basically have been engaging ourselves in those measures, the prevention measures, the education, the awareness, as well as the enforcement. As a revenue authority, any inconsistency or lack therefore in integrity is deemed to be a reflection of the values of the authority. Luckily enough, the intervention measures put forward by the authority have yielded positive results. Obviously, no one wants to be associated with uh, such kind of things, lower levels of integrity, uh, especially at a personal level and also as an institution. So um, that prompted us to ensure that we put in a, a lot of effort in that area and we stepped up our activities, uh, those present, present preventative activities, education activities, as well as uh, enforcement. And we enhanced uh, discussion with staff and um, the public to ensure that uh, we address all those potential areas of, of, of corruption. And so uh, when, when we are told that uh, now we, we have improved, it is very gratifying because then we, we know that uh, the, the interventions that we put in place are basically yielding positive uh, uh, effects. ZRA, among us, the, uh, the government institutions that exist, I can be able to state that number one is the most efficient institution. You bring a query, if they tell you that they will respond to you within 24 hours, it is 24 hours. If it is within 72 hours, you will come and you find your reply. Secondly, I want to state that so far with my interaction with the Zambia Revenue Authority at different levels, I want to state that I haven't seen anything sinister in terms of their conduct. Uh, their integrity, I can be able to rate them at least at 65%. They are human beings, but I want to state that uh, so far I have no queries in, in regards to integrity. They are committed, honesty, and as, of course you may be able to know that there are some elements that may be wrong, but I haven't encountered any, any person that is below par in terms of uh, uh, integrity as well as efficient in responding to their, their code, code duties. I, I may recommend uh, that, that in terms of integrity, eh? Throughout my experience here, I've never encountered any corruption or malpractice or nepotism in terms of handling tax services. It's efficient. I recommend the Commissioner General in terms of decentralization of all the tax centers, all the tax returns, everything that is done under ZRA that's efficient, effective, and productive. The Zambia Revenue Authority believes that every employee's integrity matters a lot and it's everyone's responsibility to keep helping one another to ensure that employees live up to both personal and institutional expectations from a moral perspective. 
Our integrity matters, and so does it matter for every taxpayer.